are tuned in to a very special edition of the latest news to keep you in the groove with Maya. Maya, we got a friend on the yeah. s- Skype today. Uh, yes. Naomi Sneakers, how are you? I'm so good. I'm so happy to see all of you or hear some voices and see you, Maya. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! All right, Maya, take it away. Okay, so um, I'm so excited to be talking to you. Um, We've been trying to do this for a while, haven't we, Maya? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm glad it finally worked out. <laughs> Me too. Um, so I was wondering who or what inspired you to start acting? That's a great question. Hmm, to start acting. I think, you know what, my mom was always big in um, make-believe. She always had a great imagination. You know, when you're a kid and you play house or you play, I don't know, I always played that I was um, I was on a pirate ship because we lived on a cul-de-sac. Do you know what a cul-de-sac is? Like a, like a, there was a ring around? Mm-hmm. Yep. And so we pretend that that was a pirate ship. So we'd always pretend that, that we were sailing somewhere. So that always made me have like a... Um, an exercised imagination. And I think that inspired me. And my mom was such an artist, so I just kind of watched her. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, yeah, so you played the gym teacher, Bobby Galka, um, yeah. for seven seasons on the Canadian show Mr. D. Um, I was wondering, do you prefer being part of an ongoing series or being in movies? Oh, that's also a good question. That's two for two, Maya. Um, <laughs> this, my favorite thing is when you get to be part of a team. You know, when you like feel like you're in a groove with a whole bunch of people that you really like. So when we go to Mr. D, it's the same. It's a lot of the same people in the crew and the cast every summer. So it'd just be like, it's summer camp. And we hang out. My dog comes with me and it's really fun. And films are like that too, but... They just last for uh, less time, so I, I, you know, I just like I hang I like hanging out with people I like, you know. Yeah. So as much as I can do that, I try to. <laughs> cool. That's so cool. Um. So, you're, is there a you're difference? You're the music hat. You're the cool one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and which, it, it's tricky because her microphone is covering it, but she's also sporting her own show shirt. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. Oh, wait, really quick. Show that, show that off. Cool, right? <laughs> With Maya and Secret Studio. Come on now. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yes. And look at my t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Very white. <laughs> I'm promoting a snowstorm. It's yeah. clean, though. That's that's a step. That's now. way ahead of me. Just grab a Sharpie and make up your own show name, and you're so, good. So <laughs> <me>. Perfect. <laughs> um, you go ahead, Maya. Uh, so is there a difference in how like TV shows and movies are filmed? Yeah, I think um, the difference is that the, the pace is usually a lot faster with TV. Like you have to move really fast. So often you only get to do one scene maybe twice and then they have to move on. So it's a really fast pace, but that also makes it really fun too. I find that like, you know, that sometimes when they when you have to do a scene more than three or four times, you're like, oh, but we don't usually have to do this. And in film, they might look at like one scene and it might take like a week because of special effects or because, you know, of a lot of different moving pieces. So I like the pace. I like the pace of TV, but it is very different. Yeah. Cool. Um, so... You were a part of the comedy troupe, Second City, um, and you won the Canadian Comedy Award in 2010. What got you interested in improv? Okay, yes. Great research, first of all. Second (laughs) was, again, like it's all about being part of cool groups, right? So... I got to be part of Second City and immediately I had this family that I was just part of and I still am. I moved to a place in Los Angeles that has an apartment building full of Second City people but from Chicago so instantly we're friends. Um, And then with improv, I don't know what got me into improv. Maybe because, I don't know, I think it's partially because it's, um, it's something you can make up on your feet. It's a really great skill. I like that ability of just making things up. But I also like the working together. I keep coming back to this, Maya. I know, broken record. 
But like, if you're on stage doing improv, you're like, we get to work together and make something really cool, like a cool scene, and that makes me really happy. So I, I actually didn't, Second City wouldn't even audition me. Here's the story. When I was um, coming to, I was living in Vancouver, and I knew they were having auditions in Toronto, and I wrote them a letter. I said, please, can I get an audition? Because I think I would like to be an improviser at Second City. And they said, no. <laughs> they said, no we will not do that. And so I was really disappointed. And um, I happened to be in Toronto at the time anyway. And uh, my friend said, just go to the auditions anyway. Just don't let them say no to you. Just go to the auditions anyway. So I plucked up my courage and I went down to the, the second city and I auditioned for it. And they hired me like the next day to be part of the touring company. So it was one of those like the door wasn't closed, but I made sure I opened it up. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. That is cool. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you played Miss Lee on the Disney Channel movie Zombies. You like that uh, movie. Yeah. Just a <laughs> little. See your face. Actually, a lot. <laughs> it's it's yeah. pretty fun. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I love that movie. And a couple of my friends came over um, to watch the premiere with my sister and I. Um, yeah, and basically we all agree that it's like the greatest love story of 2018. Nice. Um, <laughs> But don't you feel that the, the principal is um, less represented than she should be? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. well, I'm going to agree on two things. Yeah. yeah. Um, so beautiful. So, and the singing and the dancing. Don't you love that? Do you know all yeah. the songs by heart now? Yeah, yeah I do. I love it. Yeah. Um, so do you have any fun stories from the set? Well, you know, it was... Uh, yeah, I didn't get to hang out with the kids so much because they were working, but I hung out with Tony Napo a bunch, who played um, Zed's father, oh, right? Yeah. And so he and I had some good laughs, and we would um, drive, because it was about an hour from home, and he lives around the corner from me, so we would drive together to the set, and um, he would always make fun of me because I would have a snack on the way home, and he didn't understand, like, why... I, well, well, but he was jealous. I think that's the point of it. Is that <laughs> he didn't bring a snack, but I always made sure. So in the middle of the drive home, we'd all be like, "Oh my god, I'm starving. We haven't been home." But and I'd pull out like chicken. Just, <laughs> so that was pretty fun. But everybody in the cast was so sweet. They thought this was weird because they thought I was old. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was wearing, like, you saw my outfit, right, Maya? Like, those yeah. pan pink pantsuits that yeah. nobody should wear unless they're trying to win a bet, right? <laughs> yeah. So I think all the other kids were like, oh, she's wearing a pantsuit. She must be, like, ancient. When really, <laughs> you know, I'm a hip-happening lady, right? So yeah. That was tricky because I had to convince them that I was cool like the other dogs, you know. <laughs> So fun, though, and the music and the dancing. And then, um, you know, Milo Mannheim is still a friend of mine. We see each other a bunch. And have you watched him on Dancing with the Stars? Yeah. Isn't he amazing? Yeah. My, it blows it's, your mind. Yeah. What was your favorite routine so far that he did? Ooh. Probably the Halloween one. That was good. Yeah. I was there. I was in the audience for that. <laughs> really? I like how you just remembered that. I because he got perfect tens. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was very cool. I was like, I was so excited. I think if the TV ever caught me, I was like this. <laughs> so excited. That's a good look. You should just always do that. Yeah, just keep that. I mean, my home alone. Perma look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, I remember, like, the day after I was trying to, like, watch it again on YouTube. And I was with a couple of my friends, and I kept, like, screaming because <laughs> it wouldn't let me watch it. So I got very mad at the <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's a good story. As you said, it's a lovely love story, and, the, and everybody's such talent in, like, their singing and their dancing and... Yeah. 
And as you said, I'm glad to see how angry you are uh, at how little Principal Lee got to do. So thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, how did you get connected with Disney? You know, that's just an audition. And the funny story is I was in Los Angeles and I, and I just put myself on tape. So something like this, I recorded the scene and I sent it to the casting director and she sent back a bunch of notes and I sent it to them again. And it was like several times going back and forth. So, um, you know, it's just like when you try out for a, a sports team or a game. It's not called a sports team. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Sports ball. But like, like a baseball team, you know, when you try out for a baseball team, you see who can hit the ball and you see who can catch the ball and then they get part of the team. It's the same thing. And I just got lucky that uh, they wanted this kind of Principal Lee for that character. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, so you were also in the Disney Channel movie, The Swap. I was. Um, so do you have any, um, do you have a favorite memory from filming? Do you know what I loved? I worked, the director's name was, um, oh my God, uh, Karis. That's a uh, weird name. <laughs> I can't, anyway, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, he was fantastic and so lovely. And he got you, he got to play and got to like improvise within the character. That was so fun. The problem was the first day of shooting, I turned up. What did I have? Pink eye. <gasps> oh, oh, no. <laughs> not great. But it was just on the end of it. So I said to the makeup lady, I was like, look, this is what's going on. And I said to the camera person, I was like, just you know, like whatever you can do. And they worked with it so that it wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, when you get pink eye and it's like, pink eye. <laughs> it's not that. It was a little bit like, pink eye. <laughs> rose eye. Yeah, rose eye. And uh, my, I blame my dog, my stupid dog who sleeps on my pillow. Can you show us your dog really quick? Show us your dog oh, yeah. again. Yeah. Just aim down there. There uh, he is. And what's your dog's <laughs> name? Rufus. Rufus. Hey. <laughs> He's like, well, awesome. I am sleeping. How dare you? <laughs> I'm, da- I'm just, I have to find out who that name is because that's making me crazy. Uh, I don't remember. Why would I not remember? Oh, well. You. Oh, Jay. Jay Karras. There you go. He's so great, Jay. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Um, so you also guest starred in the show Life with Boys. Oh my God, and you know more about me than me. Yeah. <laughs> um, she knows more about everybody than they do. She should probably rewrite your IMDb. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Oh my God, I need help with that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I loved that show. Um, and how did you make that connection? Yeah, again, it's an audition. Um, I don't even, oh, that's when I was bald, right? Did you see that? It, the clip was um, that I was, I was like a cheerleader's mom, and then at some point I like scream and my wig falls off oh, and yeah. I'm bald with a tattoo. Yeah. That was like all this hair in a bald cap. Um, but again, <laughs> it's an audition. One of my best friends was um, the dad, Sandy Jobin Bevins. Oh, and cool. he's, uh, yeah, but he didn't. I mean, he didn't pull any strings for me. That guy, he should have. <laughs> we'll tell him. Uh, yeah. You just audition. It's really just like, it's, you, the thing with acting, Maya, it's so, it's, so, it's so hard because you can't take it personally. You know, if two people go out for the role of a principal lead and I get it and somebody else doesn't, it doesn't mean that they're less talented. It just means that this is what they want. They want this color of hair and this kind of ear and who knows, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's on left. But I do have fantastic ears, so <laughs> I get a lot of work because ears. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, do you have any upcoming projects? What do I have coming up? Right now, I have two um, podcasts, so we're in the same business. Nice. I have a yeah. podcast that is called Barum and Sneakus, and it's what I do with my partner slash husband. And we do uh, improv because we're both from Second City, so we do improvise sketches and and um, banter, and I think it's pretty funny. People seem to like it. And sometimes we do live shows, and that's really fun. 
Um, and if uh, and sometimes we have great guests. We had like Colin Mockery and uh, just recently we had Jamie Moyer and Hans Holson. So great people. And then my other podcast I have is called Firecracker Department. And I interview like what you're doing. I interview like firecracker ladies in our industry and talk to them about exactly what you're doing, like where they got their start and how they got through challenging times. And I've had such amazing discussions with people like um, Sherry O'Terry from Saturday Night Live and no Cameron Mannheim from The Practice, but also Milo Mannheim's mom. So, yeah, some really, really great chats. <laughs> Cool. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So, is there one project you've done that really stands out to you? That's hard. I just I love my job so much that so they all stand out. I get I'm so lucky. Like I I, it's you know when Thanksgiving when you go around the table and you say what you're grateful for. I often say I'm grateful to be doing a job that I love as much as I get to do and to do comedy is just awesome. So I, I don't think one would stand out. I mean, my time at second city was pretty, pretty great. Cause I met my husband. I had a bunch of laughs. It taught me so much that I think anytime I get to uh, collaborate with a bunch of talented people, it's a real, it's a real treat. Cool. Cool. Um, so, what would be your dream show to guest star on? Oh, good one. Okay. <laughs> well, if we could go back in time, it would be The Office. Yeah. Before the, because I just love it so much. That's so good. I know. I love all the awkwardness. It just makes complete sense to me. Um, <laughs> right now, gosh, I don't know. Um, oh, I don't even know. I should I should have better. That's okay. The, the Office but, is a good answer. I, Modern Family I love. But then I also watch, like, dramatic stuff, too. Oh, but I love, like, Baskets, I think is fantastic, or um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And I love that show. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah. You? I mean, there's such funny characters in that, right? So um, yeah. I'm lucky to be part of something mm -hmm. like Mr. D because I really like the show. Even if I, was, if I wasn't on the show, I'd be like, oh, I wish I was on that show. So I'm really lucky <laughs> to be on it. But I don't know. Let me keep thinking while you, you ask the next question, but I'll think if there's anything else. Okay. Um, Maya, what's a show you want to be on? Bizarre Vark. <laughs> Did you say sci-fi? Bizarre Vark. Bizarre Vark from Disney show? Disney oh, channel? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be on that show? That looks like a riot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, so is there someone you hope to work with in the future? Gosh, yeah, like um, Steve Carell, Tina Fey, um, Amy Poehler, Will Ferrell, like those guys, right? That just, they, they make you laugh just yeah. from seeing them. <laughs> and I'm lucky uh, with Second City, I've met and worked with a bunch of the Second City alumni, like, Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara and Martin Short. Like, I know, right? Your face is how I feel when I think about that. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so lucky. So um, now that I live part-time in Los Angeles, I sort of think, you know, who else? Sarah Silverman, I just think, is the best. Um, uh, yeah, there's so many comedians and people that, I mean, God, Meryl Streep, shouldn't that just be on my top of my list? Meryl Streep and then everybody else. <laughs> Yeah, I'm inspired by a lot of talent. There's some amazing talent in our community. Cool. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You can't see I'm, I'm messing things up for Maya. Sorry. <laughs> I, I can, in fact, see, and you are evidence now. I can see the little blue eye. <laughs> yeah, go with that one. Okay. Sorry, I thought you were sorry. pointing up here. So. Um, That's so. okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite show of all time? Well, as I said, The Office is pretty. Like, that's the show I watch over and over and over again. Um, How many times have you, do you think you've seen the whole series? I don't think I'd watch it. Like, I'll just start randomly and then be like, oh, yeah, that episode. And um, I'm blessed with a short-term memory, so then I can be like, <laughs> I don't remember seeing that. Yeah. <laughs> 
I love it so much. I think it's just such smart writing and um, the casting is perfect. And Steve Carell is just, I think, a genius. Like, I think he's a genius actor. I don't think it just stops at comedy. He does, you know, he does dramatic acting really well, too. So I'm, I'm going to go with The Office. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Did I get uh, it right? Yeah. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, is there a show you're currently binge watching? Do you know, what do we finish binge watching? I watch a lot of mystery shows. Um, my husband's watching The Haunted House on Haunted Hill or whatever it is. I won't watch that because it's scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like sleeping, and that will stop me from sleeping. Um, yeah. But we just finished watching, like, uh, I hadn't seen Big Little Lies before. That was really great. Yeah. Have you seen that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really liked that. Um, yeah. Do you know what I'm watching again is uh, the Gary Shandling show. <laughs> it might be a bit old for you, old school stuff. But, you know, if you're interested in comedy, he did, he was, they made a documentary out of his life because he's passed away called the um, Zen, I think, Zen Art of Gary Shandling. I actually, it's, it's just his documentary, but it was so interesting. So I've gone back and watched his series and, uh, you know, he was ahead of his time. It's really cool to watch what he created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, is there someone you've met that you've been completely starstruck by? Present company excluded. <laughs> Let's see. Starstruck. She is a pretty big I deal. The closest, I, now I'm a broken record, and if I'll work with Steve Carell at one point, and I'll, he'll see this and be like, oh, she's weird. <laughs> <laughs> We were at Second City Chicago and I was doing a show on their stage and it was an alumni show. So a lot of the past alum from Second City were there and I was just backstage. I was getting ready and, and you know, I was nervous. So I was kind of preparing and the, the dressing room, the green room door opened and the green room was tiny. Like it's a little, maybe four, six people could fit in there and a table of snacks. And in walked Steve Carell, Stephen Colbert, and Amy Sedaris. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I had to go on stage because otherwise I would have been like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what song do you roll down the windows and rock out to? Yes, <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> um, what if I listen to, you know, we were listening to some Queen the other day because the, of the uh, movie that came out. Um, yeah. um, nothing's Gonna Stop Me. I love it. Oh. I love that song, Maybe, um, by, what's her face? Is it Carly? Mm. Carly Rae Jepsen? Oh, there Call you. Me Maybe. Call yeah. Me Maybe. Yeah. I just love that song. I love mm. um, some of Taylor Swift's stuff. Oh. Like, yeah. I'll listen to Shake It Off, and I'll shake it off for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with the kids. Uh, yeah. oh. I, I love it. You will never, I will always dance to that song. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I love that song. It's, it's a good one. It makes you dance, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you could have any song playing to announce your entrance into a room, what song would it be? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, um, oh, I don't know. You've had a hard day. No, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what about, um, I'm a believer. Maybe that one or... Um, the monkeys? Do, 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 do. No, that, I wouldn't want the monkeys. I mean, I like them, but maybe not. Uh, <laughs> we'll get someone else to sing that song then. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, what about? Oh gosh, I'm, it's escaping my brain, but I can I can see it in my head somewhere. I'm gonna have to get back. I don't know. I have, that's a hard one. My entrance music. Uh, maybe the song. Maybe just the maybe song, because then people will dance. When I come in, so it'll be like ba da ba da ba 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 ba. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, do you have a motto or? Don't stop believing. That's it. Don't, Don't stop, stop believing. That's <laughs> 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 nice. a good one. Yeah. It came to her. Boom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I think mine would be So We Did by Brandon Michael Hall. How does like, that go? Here, like, let me hear a snippet of that. It's like, it's a, um, it's a, he's rap, a rapper. Right? <laughs> yeah, so he's like, they told us that we couldn't, so we did. Yes, um, I love it. Yeah, and I was listening to him last night, and I can probably like sing every word to every one of his songs and my sister looked at me and she was like I'm impressed <laughs> no but sometimes songs just hit your heart right you yeah have, you learn everything just because it's connected to you yeah <laughs> what's that song called again Maya so we did so we did I'm gonna look it up after we talk yeah okay. that's Brandon Michael yeah. Hall who uh, is now playing on God Friended Me Oh, okay. And has actually been on Maya's, interviewed on Maya's show. Well, I'm in good company. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, do you have a motto or a quotation that you live by? Hmm, I think, you know, it's so funny. I, I talk to people about that, too, on my firecracker department. I ask them what their mantra is. I think my mantra would be, like, I don't know, like, take action. Like, when you want to do something, just take action. Because some people talk about doing things and fulfilling dreams, and they talk about it and they talk about it, but I was like, just take one little step of action, whether it's like, let's say you want to be an actor. Well, you know, read a book one day. Just take a little bit of action towards your goals. That is really good. Yeah. yeah. And stop nice. talking, start doing. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I like that. Um, you can use it. It's yours. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so who do you consider to be a real-life superhero and why? Gosh, I have a lot of superheroes. You know, I have a friend, um, Maya Ardell, who is a, uh, she used to be an artistic director, but she's an actor, director, writer, TV, film, and um, I've always admired her because I think she's fierce. She has, like, she has goals in her head, and she goes after what she wants, and she doesn't let people stop her. And then a couple of years ago, she got cancer, and that, like, I kind of watched her as she kind of took a step back and then just, like, rode from the ashes. It was just uh, incredible. So I'm really impressed with that kind of strength and bravery. Um, that's a hero to me. Uh, I think anybody who like, you know, we all face kind of like challenging times in different capacities, but I'm always impressed. And I find like, like heroes are different in different capacities, whether they just overcoming some sort of obstacle is, uh, heroic to me. That's so cool. Yeah. Maya, is that it for your questions today? Uh, yeah. You don't want this to end, right? Neither do I. No, I <laughs> don't. <laughs> well, yeah. well, you know, you're always invited to uh, Colorado. We'd love to have you in the Seacrest studio. Yeah. I'm sure all the kids here at Children's Hospital Colorado would love to meet you. So anytime you're in town, just swing on by. Thank yeah. you so much. I love that you're doing this. I'm so inspired by you. You're like a little hero to me for doing this kind of stuff. You know, it's, you must have had an idea to do a, a podcast or a, like an interview series like this. And look at you now. <laughs> yeah, she's almost hit uh, like 60 interviews by now, something like that. So, yeah, wow. I think you might Amazing. have to catch up. <laughs> well, I'm really, I'm really proud and honored that you reached out to me to be part of it. Yeah, well, thank you so much for calling in. Well, Gosh, yeah. anytime. All right. Well, you have a good yeah. rest of your day, Naomi. Thanks so much for spending yeah. time with us. And we'll definitely you. have you back on the show yeah. sometime soon. Or better yet, like Cody said, live here in Colorado. Oh, all right. Uh, all right, next time I'm in Colorado. Okay. Yeah. But keep in touch, Maya. Let me know what you're up to. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Well. <laughs>